What would an infinite universe or an infinite multiverse really mean? Well, there's nothing new at all about the concept of infinite space. It was speculated about in the 18th century and even by the Greeks. But what is new is a realization that uh, uh, this may not just be a dreary on and on, but might indeed uh, be an infinite space with a complicated structure. The problem of infinity, of course, is that um, uh, it doesn't obey the normal laws of arithmetic. <laughs> uh, you can double it and it's the same. <laughs> and uh, so it raises problems with uh, issues like um, probability. And when we come to the question of asking, are we in a typical or probable part of this infinite universe? That's a rather difficult question because the where you put a measure in a technical sense on the universe is something which is rather arbitrary and difficult when it's infinite. And if you assume that the universe go, goes on infinitely in one way or another, then you would assume that every state of, of affairs uh, occurs, and you have to assume every state of affairs occurs infinitely. And so people talk about there are other Martin mm -hmm. Reeses and Robert Kuhn sitting here talking to each other an infinite number of times mm -hmm. as you go out further and further. It seems to me at times a bit silly. Well, I think that's an obvious consequence if you assume that all uh, combinatorial options are fulfilled and if you go on for infinity and have enough space to uh, realise all the options. Of course, any such uh, combination is going to be far, far, far beyond our horizon. Sure. And so carrying that concept further, you have to have a really, really vast universe before you can have uh, um, objects like ourselves being duplicated. But I don't see why one should be disturbed by this. I think it's a natural consequence of an infinite universe. But, but it has really no relationship to us. It's just, a, it's just a random expression of everything so that everything that can exist will exist. And so mm. if there is something that looks like you very far from here, it's not you. It doesn't really, it doesn't really mean anything. Th th that's right. And there will be uh, uh, combinations of us and in the next 10 seconds, they will all divert. Yes, some sure. may um, stand up, some may sit down, <laughs> and they'll do different things. So, so all options are uh, carried out somewhere in the future as well as in the past. Do you have an intuition whether our universe that came from our Big Bang is or will be infinite or finite, and whether a multiverse which uh, likely exists is infinite or finite? Mm -hmm. Well, I think this is not a matter for intuition. It's a scientific question to which we could seek the answer, although we may not find it. I think I try and avoid having these intuitions. But the only rational response is to say, we just don't know enough to say whether it's likely or unlikely. And uh, whatever our preferences are, we should accept that we just don't know, but we'll eventually come within the scope of science. So I think we should be open-minded and remember that our preferences count for nothing. We must accept the universe as it is.